Darling, I'm home. Ryan brought me back. Search the grounds. There's no sign of her anyway. Hi. There you are. You wanted Ryan to fetch me back. Here I am. Okay. We ran into each other at Stewart's gallery. Alex is one of those people that seems to be several places all at the same time. Well, thanks for bringing her home. No problem. Quick question. Alex, what time do you want us for dinner? I don't know. Is seven too late? Fine. Should we bring anything? No, just your charming selves. See you at seven. Actually, uh, Dimitri, who are you looking for just now? Alex, naturally. Here I am, darling. Will the real Alex Merrick please step forward? Much hasn't been adding up around here. Alex has been acting like two different people. Well, guess what she is? One of these two people is your wife, and one of them is Anna Duvain, who was supposedly killed in a boat explosion. I'm Anna. So you're not a ghost? What's the deal? What the hell is going on? Ryan, calm down. I'm going to try and explain everything to you. Yeah, you're right. You're going to explain everything. Like, like is this dangerous? It's got to be, right? I mean, you used to be a spy. No threat to anybody while you were dead, but now that you're alive, you're a threat to all of us. I don't believe any that you're in danger. Really? Then why'd you hire Bart? And that's your bodyguard, isn't it? And what about these? What about these? These articles, WSB agent killed in boat explosion? What is this? Who, who's trying to knock you off? Do they know you're still alive? Are they coming after you? Will somebody please answer me? All right. I will explain everything. Those are the reasons that we brought Anna here. Firstly, to get her proper medical attention. And because she's safer here, Ryan. Right. Safer from home. We don't know. All right, you know what? You need to know this. There was an incident at Bart's cabin up in Ontario. It was a surprise assault. A man was killed, but we don't know who he was. We don't know who he was working for. You're not making this up? No, I wish we were. But until we know that Anna is out of danger, we, we have to keep up this charade. And you can't tell anyone, Ryan. All right. OK, fine. Other than Jillian, I won't tell No. Anybody. You can't. It's too risky. She's my wife. You expect me to lie oh, to Ryan, my wife? Ryan, listen to me. Anna survived a brutal attack on her life, and she has spent years fighting her way back. As long as she is a target, we have to take every precaution necessary to keep her safe. Really? So that's why I found her strolling through Stewart's gallery completely unprotected. Yeah, I'm stupid. It won't happen again. You can guarantee that? I guarantee it. Ryan! Please don't give her away. Alex! Hey, there you are. Hi. I thought you were going to wait for me on the yacht. Yeah, I was, and I got bored waiting. So, did you two have a little chat? Yeah. Everything okay? Mm -hmm. Alex and I can't agree on something. I want to bring a bottle of wine to dinner, but she insists we just come as we are. That's why you ordered me out of here? Well, I, I, you know, I didn't order you. You did. You practically threw me out and ordered me away. <sighs> well, I, guess I just wanted to, you know, see how you uh, took orders from your new husband. I don't take orders. Oh. 
I simply agreed to love and honor, not obey. So, we're on for tonight then, right? Mm-hmm. Back to the yacht? Yeah, you know, I'll, uh, I'll meet you there. I just want to run some dot-com numbers by Dimitri. Okay. I'll go back to the turret and pack up the rest of our things. Okay. I'll wait for you downstairs. Bye, guys. Bye. See you tonight. Nice. Very nice. I just get married and you've already got me lying to my wife. You know what? I really hate lying to my wife. I know. It seems we put you in an impossible position. But you did the right thing, Ryan. Yes. Answer me one question. Did I lie to Jillian for Anna or did I do it for us? Both. You think about it. The less Jillian knows, the safer she'll be. You better be right about that. I can't be sure, but I would say that it was probably a massive coronary. Then why is this gun right next to him? Oh, uh, Bart was very old school, I think. Actually, I talked to Bart about this. He, um, he promised he'd never have his gun unholstered when the children were present, but uh, he said he was a little too old and set in his ways to, to change when they were around. I think you saw something. What? What do you, what do you mean, Jill? I think you saw something and got frightened and pulled his gun and then had this heart attack. Well, um, yeah, we'll never know that for sure, Julie. Darling, I'm sorry that you had to come in here and find this. But there is no sense speculating on why it was his time. Say something to her. Does she know about Anna? No. Can't you tell? Right, listen, did, did you see anything that would indicate that there was a problem here? Other than the gun at our feet? All right, listen. Ryan, I know this is difficult for you to lie to Jillian like this, but it's for her own safety. It's for her own good. Yeah, well, for her own good, I'm going to get her out of here today. I think that's an excellent idea. I hate this, Dimitri. I hate this. I hate lying to my wife. I know you do. I know. And I thank you for helping in your silence despite your feelings about it. Thank you. <sighs> what should we, uh, we get out of here? You know, Dimitri and Alice can take care of the police. And no reason for us to stick around. No reason. Right, I found the body. The police won't ask me questions, won't they? Yeah, no, no, no. If they, if they do, we'll be at the yacht. They know where to find us, so... Uh... I'm so sorry, oh, Alex. I'm so sorry. It's all right. Don't do you know where to get in touch with his family? Yeah, I know who to call. Go on. We'll be fine. Keep it from her. No, I, I, I realize that. I just 
hope she'll be all right. Could you give me a few minutes alone with him before you call the police? Yeah, we'll be waiting outside. Anyone, your secret. Anyone. That'll die with me. 